Now, there are beautiful experiments done on extremely simple organisms which are philosophically important. I'll give you one example of that. So, you can take two identical organisms, simple organisms like worms, make them exactly identical and put them in exactly identical environments and take one of these genes that is chance dependent, okay? And ask the question, why is it that one of these worms develops one phenotype? It's like two twins. One of these worms develops one and the other one doesn't develop that, that same feature or phenotype, right? And the answer is that right at the molecular level, there are stochastic variations in molecules. Molecules are rising and falling like statistically, just like, you know, atoms are moving in the air. And when they rise above a certain level, they kick off a threshold, and that worm becomes, goes in one direction. When they rise below that threshold, that worm goes in the other direction. You can make it rise above that certain level of the threshold by environmental influences. You can force it to rise, and therefore push, the, push one animal in one direction. But it's a beautiful explanation, number one. And number two, it's a giant plea, I think, ultimately, that we are very similar and that our lives are knitted together in similar ways. And that what we're really experiencing is the, I think, profound interplay between chance and genes and environments.